Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today is Mini Monday Madness and we're painting mini tropical uh, vignettes today. Pretty quick and simple, just using three colors, well one cheek color, the black, four colors, and one brush, my Princeton 8 Long Round Velvet Series brush. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up and check out my Patreon. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper, three inch square. Um, I'm just going to go use my three color paints. I have the Quinacridone Magenta, Peacock Blue, Cadmium Yellow Deep, and Holbein. My Princeton number eight long round brush. I put the paints in this palette here, and I have my paper towel and my water jars. So I just sketched in lightly a little house. I mean, I have a tutorial on that. You just basically let me zoom in a little bit. Drawing like a little house here. And then I'm just sketching out a little land here and where I want the trees. And you can put them anywhere you want. I'm gonna put one up here, middle, one side. So we're gonna start by doing the little house. Um, it's gonna be more of like a terracotta color. This yellow palette is a little messy right now. I have my magenta with the yellow. I'm going to make this terracotta color. Some little orange. Add a touch of that blue. Tone it down a little bit. And a little more yellow. Try to keep the colors simple so you can learn how to mix colors. A little more blue. It's a constant mixing to get the color just right. There we go. So I'm getting this pretty loose and I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. There we go. Just going to fill in this little hut, like a beach hut. And we're doing this very loosely because it's just a small little vignette. There we go. Just like the other ones, but only this is tropical. I'm taking some of the paint off as you can see, and that will just be um, damp. So if you want to bleed in another color, you can do that. And I'm just going to pull this down, as you can see. I'll put a little of this color. I'm trying not to bleed it into the other one. I'll leave a little white space. And if you want to cheat, <laughs> grab some black and just throw, just dab that in there. You know, instead of mixing up a black, you can throw it in there for the side color that's darker. For the front, I'll add a little more yellow to this um, terracotta color. And put some of that in front. I'll go back in and add some of that terracotta in the bottom. It's just supposed to have the illusion of a little hut. It doesn't have to be serious. Now for the trees, I'm going to make it more brown. So I'm going to add some more yellow, uh, red, uh, magenta, excuse me, the blue. Some more blue. Some more blue. And we'll just throw in, taking the tip of our brush, pulling down that palm. super loose. You can do it in like sections. You know, it doesn't have to be like this perfect palm tree. I'll put one over in here. And now we're going to make our green. We've got the yellow and the blue. Got this nice bright green. And we're just going to start doing some palm leaves. I'm just taking the tip of our brush I'm going to pull this line down like this and over here like this. I'm just going to push out very loose palms, just like that. We're not making this very serious and I'm pushing it out like that. See how loose that is? Same thing again over here, down, out here, and then we're just going to push the paint out 
you know it's a palm tree just like that and there's a one peeking underneath there see how simple that is <laughs> um, you want to make a darker green grab some more of that blue oops peacock blue and yellow touch of that magenta and you've got a darker green that you can just bleed in there or put some under leaves underneath in the back down here you want to have some variety of green just makes it more interesting can add a little more blue again so it's more of like a turquoisey color water it down a bit and then we're just going to make some more like another funky palm tree there's different types of palm trees I'm just going out like this see I'm just using my brush wild and crazy right behind the little hut so we got some foliage behind the hut and then we're going to do some on the ground I'm going to grab my yellow, mix it in with that same turquoise. I'm not going to waste paint and push it all around in the ground here. This is pretty fast and simple, right? I'm going to let this dry a bit. We can go back here and put some even lighter, put some more yellow. And I'll add some blue, more blue more blue so it's a pretty turquoise I'm gonna water this down a lot and I'm gonna dab it on my paper towel to get off the excess paint and I'm just gonna put some foliage back here so I'm just gonna dab this all around I want it pretty light so I'm gonna take off some of the paint by mopping it up with my brush we're just going to indicate some background foliage. And if you want to go in and add some like, pretty bright um, like bougainvillea type of flowers, you know, we can add some more palms back here, just little teeny ones. Just like the little palm leaves to indicate that it's this wild background. So over here, I'm going to put in some bright foliage and some flowers. So I'll add the flowers first. We got this pretty bright magenta. Water this down. And I'll dab it in my paper towel. I'm just going to dab. I see it's a little too wet. Some pretty bright pinks. Just over around like that. It bled into the screen, but that's okay. You can just push that paint around and fix that. And now I'm going to go back into that hut again. So I'm going to grab my yellow, my magenta. This is less water, a little more creamy. And I'm going to go in and add some detail. Make a little darker up here. Put a little column right here. And then I can go in and if I want, like I said, cheat with a little black. I have a little black in here. Get that side area that's darker. And then go back in. Got a little darker under the side in here, right on the inside part. I'm going to wash in a little more color over here. Then in here. I didn't like the way the black looks, so I'm going to kind of move some of this paint. Go back in. Add a little more detail. I'm going to let this dry, or you can go in. This is where I'll take the black and 
put some of the lines just in the roof area all here and there and on the side just get the detail and then I want to make sure this pond back here is a little bit darker so add a little more blue I'm just going to put a little more dark turquoise right behind the hut. It's bleeding a little bit in there, that's okay. It can look like it's on top of it. See, I'm spraying out that palm. Can add some of that down here. Put some dark green like that. Now I'm going to add some bright green around by the uh, magenta. So I'll have my yellow, pretty bright. And I'm just going to dab that in there. Take that bright green and mush it around over in here too. Remember, this is just like a simple tropical landscape. So when this dries, you can add a few more touches of the detail in this. Um, go back in and grab some, you can use, if you don't want to use your paintbrush, you could use a micron pen. I'm just going to tap in some black. I might tap it in a little bit up here on the palm. Here. And the underside of this one. Maybe like a little right here where the doorway would be. So that bled a little bit. We'll just let that dry and come back to that one. And then with this palm, like I said, you can go back in and add some deeper color in here and then in here in the foliage. If you want some more bright magenta, so that kind of bled out, became pale pink. I just throw in some and then here and there. Like bright flowers. So that's one little tropical vignette. We'll come back and do the detail. Then I have another one that I'm thinking about. Something pretty loose. Um, we're going to start with the sky. I'm going to use that peacock blue. I'm going to water it down. And we're just going to go wash over the sky like so. And then we're going to wash some greenery. Can you use the same greenery you have here, down below here? If you want to get a little more yellow. I'm going to add some dark green, so I have some blue, yellow, magenta. So I'm just bleeding in some darker greens, just like that. This is still damp with the blue here, so I'm going to have to let that part dry. And then I can go in and add some... Well, you could, right now, take some of that green. I'm making a brighter green here, you see? And you know, I, I've shown many tutorials how we just dab the color and make it into a little fuzzy tree. So I'm putting another column back here. This is still wet. If the blue's not wet, it's not going to do it. It's not going to bleed. But I'm just going to put some color in here. I'm just going to bleed out some darker greens. Just like this. Just tapping it in.
be kind of like a field in the tropics. So I'm getting the blue. Oh, that made purple. And I got that brown, dark green. Mixing it all up. There we go. Nice dark green. Pushing that color in here, around here. A little more dark green. Just making these little lines that go across and all around down here. Now we're going to do another palm tree. So we'll make that brown again. It's basically yellow, blue, and magenta. And we have this brown. Let's get the palm going right in here. Coming upward. And then we'll take the greens. We'll take more of the yellow. We'll brighten up this dark green we had. Add a little more blue. I'm going to do these palms like this, like this, and then we're going to do palms from that. See? Spray them off. Those are little sprays. Just like this. I'm just pushing the tip of your brush outward from that stem that we have here. And down here. And now we're going to grab some darker green. I'll need some more Prussian blue. Uh, peacock, sorry, Prussian. <laughs> peacock blue into this mixture. Get some bright dark green. I'm just going to dab it in here. Grab some magenta. Get this nice dark color. Kind of want to dark in the middle, like where the palms kind of overlap and outward over here and under here and then down here we can put some darker green element so it's just bleeding out nicely you have all these little elements down here if you want to go and clean off your brush take some of this bright yellow Mix it in here, I get this bright green again. And with the tip of your brush, come out here and add little palms. Like they're in the background. Little teeny palms. Now this has got a little muddy. We can take a card and scrape it. See? like that. Gives it just another dimension, another textural element. And we have this cool palm. Like again, cheat with the little black. I'm going to have to put the black in the description. I'm cheating with the black. Just putting that a little bit there. When that dries, we can go in and add little like details. And if you want this part really bright green down here, you just take the yellow, go right on top of it. And then I'm going to go back to the other. Well, my phone decided to cut out as usual because it overheats. I don't know. We have to fix this thing. But I went in back in, and you can go with the micron, as you can see, little lines in here, um, adding details, and then on the palm tree. And I filled in a little darker green here. And here you can do the same thing. But that's pretty much it for Mini Monday Madness. Some tropical vignettes for you to enjoy. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my tutorials are up. And um, also check out my Patreon. There are exclusive videos and downloads of PDF sketches over there. Each week um, I do a couple sketches each week and I have an exclusive video every Thursday. I try and get it out every Thursday sometimes. It, happens on Fridays but each week and then for the top tier every month I give a 
free download that I personally paint that you can use for personal use. Um, if you want to make a calendar with it, an invitation, something like that. So take care guys and I'll speak to you soon.